Hello, we're going to go through a Wireshark capture of looking at the NTP protocol, actually SNTP, the simplified or simple network time protocol. SNTP is simply a client server protocol. Client asks for time from the server and then sets the time of the host accordingly. We want to watch that with our Wireshark capture. Got a Windows 10 virtual machine here. So let's start off by setting up our Wireshark capture to search for. I'm going to do port 123 is the NTP server port. A lot of times it's, it's handy to have the DNS near the network protocol that we're diagnosing. So let's say or port 53. Now there may be some background DNS traffic that we're capturing with this. So now we should be capturing either NTP or DNS, at least the UDP DNS traffic. Let's just make sure that we're able to do this right. I'm going to open up my command prompt and let's do a DNS query. And we see we do have uh, DNS traffic. Apparently we're asking 8.8.8.8 for DNS resolve and we see that we got the um, A record for google.com and the quad A record for google.com in that query. And those match up. We don't want to wait around to, for our computer to check the time. It will eventually do some NTP. It's configured with an NTP server already usually. Usually asking the Microsoft NTP server. But we want to have the traffic show up here. So let's, if we search for time and go to date and time settings, we'll have the opportunity to check this. Now, you'll notice in the Windows 10 settings, there's nothing here for changing the time server. You go to the additional date, time, and regional settings, and you get the classic Windows control panel where we can set date and time settings. And this internet time tab allows us to change the settings for that. We see that it was synchronizing with time.microsoft.com. Let's ask it to synchronize against ntp.vt.edu. And we say update. And we see that, in fact, there's our NTP traffic going to. And we have a DNS response here. So here we ask for ntp.vt.edu. We get back a few different IP addresses for that. So we see there's actually four IP addresses for ntp.vt.edu, 198.82.247.71.51.131, and 108. And here our NTP client for our computer asks all four of these systems for the time and presumably updates the time as well. Our client computer here is 104.225.142.223. So there we have it. And notice we were only doing NTP version 3. We were also only doing IP version 4. This computer is a virtual machine that resides in a cloud provider and it doesn't have a globally routed IPv6 address. On our Ethernet interface, we only have a link local address that begins FE80. We could set up a tunnel interface, but that's not currently um, in, in use in most cases, so I don't recommend using a tunnel interface. If you don't have IP version 6, natively on the network that your host is operating on, then I don't recommend that you bother to use the, the tunnel interface. In fact, I usually turn that service off, the IP helper service, which is what runs the tunnels. Turn that off on a Windows host. I haven't gotten to that yet on this one. The NTP version 3 only supports uh, legacy IP anyway. You need an NTP version 4. So from what we have here, we can't tell if Windows doesn't support NTP version 4, or if perhaps if we had an IPv6 address, would it talk NTP version 4? We don't know. 
But at any rate, the these uh, NTP version is version 3, so it could very well be that uh, Windows 10 doesn't even support using IPv6 to query the NTP and only supports IP version 4 because it's only talking NTP version 3 uh, protocol anyway. So there we have the bits for the, uh, there it is, the NTP version. But it does do client server. We still do SNTP, the simple network time protocol. Uh, we, we ask the server for time. He tells us the time. We adjust our clock accordingly. Well, that's how you can induce an NTP time setting uh, transaction to happen. Just change the setting on your on your system while you're capturing the packets. You can easily get the the packet capture.